as well as he does. And I thank God that he put me here to, to preach this to you. The Bible reads, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us. Everybody say predestinated. Yeah. Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved, in whom we have redemption, say redemption, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace, wherein he hath abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known unto us the mystery of his will according to the good pleasure which he hath purposed in himself, that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are in earth, even in him, in whom we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated. Everybody say predestinated. predestinated. According to the purpose of him who worketh all things. Say all. all. God works all things after the counsel of his own will, that we should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in Christ. Now, according to biblical scholars, the word predestination is defined as the divine foreordaining of all that will happen. And I'm here to, de to declare to you today that I believe that with all my heart. And I'm here to tell you today that your free will was too much freedom. Because before the world was ever framed, before the, any atom or any molecule was ever formed, the God of this universe had chosen us. In the risen Christ. I'm telling you. Some of us were overdosing on drugs on a Friday night. Going down in the water. In the mighty name of Jesus. For the remission of sins on Sunday night. The doctor told you. That your son would be dead by week's end. And that he's got no hope. He's making his own destiny. And the weeks are flying by. Yes. Some of us were excommunicated from ministries, tossed out like garbage from the people who were supposed to help us up. And now we're in a position to labor more abundantly for the kingdom than we ever thought was possible. Your marriage was on the rocks. Your wife was two feet out of the door. And all your family had your name in their mouths with malice and ill intent. But now you're hand in hand with the woman that God lent you, having victory over the enemy, rushing his head under your feet. I can go on and on and on. We are built upon the foundation of the apostles and Jesus Christ himself. Jesus, who is the best ever. He is the most brutal, vicious, and ruthless champion there has ever been. There's no one that can stop him. There's no one like him. There's no one who can match him. His style is impetuous. Defense is impregnable. He has you in his heart and he comes for you as children. Praise be to God. Predestination. Look under Abraham, your father, and Sarah as your mother who bear you. For God says, I called him alone and blessed him, and increased him. Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. For my own sake will I do it, says the Lord. For how shall my name be polluted? And I will not give my glory to another. Hearken unto me, O Jacob, and Israel my called. Everybody say call. I am he. I am the first. I also am the last. My hand has laid the foundations of the earth. And my right hand has spanned the heavens. And when I call unto them, they stand up together, says the Lord. Predestined. That means you're unstoppable. 
situation to let them know that their identity is not in narcotics anonymous. Their identity is in Jesus. I had a word out from God for you and your life. This is what God told me last night. God told me that because of the covenant and the promise of marriage between you and your wife, And that your eyes are going to behold him become the man of God that he was destined to be. Yes. We were here on Friday night practicing, rehearsing his songs. And you're someone. And I didn't know who it was, just like when you walked out. Yep. I didn't know where you were in the flesh, but I knew about him. I knew yes. about him. And all of a sudden, his motorcycle started yep. It's still him. And, and, and in that moment, when he should have been gone, God gave my wife a word yeah. for his fiance. And I saw all this happen in the spirit. I saw her here. She's not here. So I can't go any further than what God has shown me. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, what you have done is going to trickle down in your family. assignment that's been on your family, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. No devil in hell is going to stop your son from being the man who God has called him to be, who God has predestined him to be, and his wife, who God has predestined her to be. I wish she was here. God said that the money for the wedding is, is, is not even an issue. It's not even an issue. And that he's coming. Sir, there are, you could have took that money that yeah, that yeah. Took the country still yeah. Because when you are predestined yes. by God to be somewhere on yes. Sunday and you're trying to die on Friday, yes. my brother, there's nothing you can hold on to. And you know that. And you know that. There is no Stop telling you. If your whole ship is broken right now, you are already in the act of selling things, getting ready to go off in an alternate reality. In Jesus' name, Jesus ran in there, busted up the devil. Busted up the devil. That's what I said in my sermon. There's no one as brutal and vicious and ruthless as our champion. Listen, you think Mike Tyson is a fighter? Jesus was a fighter. You think Alexander the Great was a conqueror? Oh my Lord, Jesus is a conqueror. Listen, you think Hitler had victims? And he did. But every demon in hell is a victim of Jesus Christ. The Bible says he made a show over them openly. And had they had known what they were doing, they'd have never crucified him. All his enemies are under his foot as a footstool until all until the restoration of all things is complete. And God is going to restore everything. What I'm telling you, that you're predestined in the name of Jesus Christ, that's your confidence. When you're riding your bicycle to work, the job that God gave you, don't fear any cars. They can't stop you. They might swerve in front of you. They might brake check you. They might come in your lane. But you just keep going because you know that if God gave it to you, God gave you life. He's not going to let the enemy take it. He's not going to let the devil laugh in his face and say, ha, I got crazy. No. Narcan, how many times? Six times. Yes. Six times the Lord has pumped in your yes. chest. Yes. Rise, my son. Yes. Rise. Because you got a destiny. Yes. You try to die on Friday, and you got your sins forgiven in the name of Jesus on Sunday. Yes. Only God can do something. I gave you a prophecy the first day I said it. I said, you can still fight for your 
wife. Amen. Next thing you know, you're back there hugging each other. Praise I'm God. like, what is going on here? <laughs> the word around the town is yes. that the devil's doing something in your life, but it's canceled in the name of Jesus. of your heart. And I know it seems wild. I know it seems far-fetched. But our God can do anything and all things. If you call upon his name, the Bible says anybody who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yes. Yes. Anybody. If you commit your life, I want you to commit your life to God right now. At this very moment. In your mind, I know I'm putting you on the spot. In your mind, I want you to commit your life to Jesus. The man that by his stripes you are healed. Yes. There is nothing you have needed that he doesn't know already. But the problem is, is that you're not coming the right way to God. There's only one way to the Father, through Jesus Christ. Yes. And today, if you want to give your life to Christ, we'll baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. You shall receive the promise that is unto you and your children and many far off as the Lord God shall call. And you will receive the promise of the Holy Ghost which is the everlasting life living in you. And I'm telling you, you're going to come in here with a testimony. Yes. There's somebody in this building that's a hundredfold seed. There's somebody in this building that's a hundredfold seed. A hundredfold. Are you a hundredfold seed? Are you going to go out there and bring a hundred people to Jesus? Is that you, sir? Is that you? I don't know. But it's somebody because it happened to me. I was on the streets. I, was, I almost died on drugs. I was in the nightclubs. I was in fornication. I was in every wicked thing that the Bible lists that I should be condemned for. But I've been redeemed. I've been restored. I went down in the water and I was washed of my sins. They were red, but they are white as wool now. Thank you, I just thank you, guys. I pray that God will bless you. Yes. Grab a hold of this thing. Yes. We were in the end of days. Yes. They've been saying that for a long time. But it's true. Ever yet more so. Amen. You're never too deep that God can reach you. Amen. Amen. Amen.